Hi, welcome to the channel, Bedtime Stories, Corp Adventures. If you've been following the latest episodes, thank you very much. If you're new to the channel or just passing through, my name's Lee. Hello. The thing about walking around this place is, it's 50 acres in size and it takes a while to uh, walk around and find a peg or locate the car. Ow, and yeah, my hip and my knees playing up. Bad day at work. But uh, yeah, continue to walk around. Let's go see what's happening over there. I mean, it's a lovely warm wind coming in this corner. It is really warm. And this is the corner we've just been looking at. The wind's smashing down here, but somebody's fishing in this corner. And yeah, it would have been a nice little spot. But yeah, we walk from back over there. Been here about 20, 25 minutes now having a wander around and no signs of showing car. And uh, beautiful scenery though, beautiful place. Now I think this peg is called the weed bed, I'm not sure, uh, only an assumption because just there, there, excuse me dirty finger, <laughs> wow look at the dirt on there, and that's after I've washed my hands, like I say tough day for just that bit there, there's a weed bed and it's just over the white overflow section anyway i think this is where they were spawning last week or the week before uh, again trying to suss out this place can take a while because of the size of it <laughs> keep at it though because i do love it it's massive and there's loads of places to discover and that's the exciting part about it there's loads of places to discover where we've just been looking was Ripley side so let's go over the train track over onto Swanwick side Even if you're not into fishing, like I said, this is an amazing place. Butterley Reservoir, just come down and have a walk around. I'm sure you'll love it. And this. This is Swanwick side, just over the wall. Let's see if anybody's fishing in these bags. This is where they were smashing out last week, what they call the snags. And uh, the wind's hammering down into this corner again just like it was last week. There's a guy in peg 14. I don't see a baby set up, so maybe he's just staying for the day. 13, 12, 11, 10, empty. There's a guy in nine, just behind the tree there. Like. But uh, yeah, this could be a good point to start. Stay here for a few hours. Hey look, there's my shadow, that's me. Stay here for a few hours till it goes dark. 
but let's have a look at where else there is. That's another good little day fishing spot. Wrong again. There's another peg in here. And two pegs where you can get your baby in. They look nice, don't they? Yeah, it'd be nice to put a baby there and get out into the open water, but not fishing straight out. Fishing down onto that corner there onto that tree that'd be a beautiful idea that would actually having a walk around to mozzie corner keep watching the video because those summer tips i was talking about they're coming up soon If you go down in the woods today oh, Proper in the woods now up into three bears I've got no porridge with me I don't know, there might even be somebody fishing around here after all of my efforts of walking around you never know I can see why so many people actually walk around here though like a proper little campsite have a few good parties around here guys <laughs> and I mean P-A-R-T-Y because we want that kind of party but uh, yeah oh, roasting in this pack roasting also looks very weedy maybe that's why I saw a few people float a fishing last week that over there is the first five or six day fishing only pegs as you might call them due to the snags or the trees in the margin but yeah hopefully the temperature will cool down a little bit later and by then after having a massive walk around i mean i've nearly covered the entire res now i will have found somewhere set up yeah i think uh, mozzie corner this spot here is where you know you'd probably come with a two-man tent and bring your missus and uh, you know are only about fishing at times lads eh woo -woo, you bring your missus and woo -woo, always have a bit of funny business got all these lovely little bay areas <laughs> so many places i think just in line with where that duck is, you probably can't see. I think there's a carp on the surface just sitting there doing not much of anything. Yeah, it's a carp, he's just cruising along. Because the shadow in the water is moving. Mm, yeah, it's definitely a carp. Okay. Is it worth the walk? all the way along that bank all the way along the railway track wall back up to the car park located right over there where the wheelbarrow mm. sometimes when you find them you're a million miles away from where you started and yeah i couldn't be any further away from my car but there is two car now in this corner 
just happened to look to my left and yep, I think that bay boat's coming right out to Annie because uh, A's fishing over there. Couldn't have sent that bait boat any further. Get to run and it goes around that post. It's a bit silly, isn't it? Mm. Oh well. Yeah, some folk here. What's the word? Desperate at times. Anyway, my opinion's just my opinion. Just walked back to the first few pegs after the train track and been out in this pool so I'll go grab me barry. Dog walkers, what you doing? Pick this up. I'm going to need doggy bags with me. I'll get it in a minute. Why haven't I got any doggy bags with me? Well, Truffle's not with me on this one. She's coming to season. And with it being 27 degrees or higher tomorrow, I don't think it's a good idea for the dog to be with me. So yeah, I've left her at home. Uh, Mum's looking after her. She'll be all right. She'll be back out with me again once she's finished the season. In the last video, I said I was gonna give you some top summer tips. Well, if you've watched the video from start to now, you're learning tip one, location. It's not the easiest thing to do, walking around the entire lake, but location can save you a load of time in the long run. Well done if you did watch all of the video, you've also mastered tip number two, which is patience. I'm sorry, this seemed like the only way I could do it. I'm spent after walking that bar around. My God, definitely ain't as young as I used to be. Whew. Anyway, carp are still showing in this swim. So I'm just gonna stop here for an hour or two and chuck a couple of rods out and see if we can nick a bite. The approach in this tight little swim is gonna be a PVA bag with just a few boilies in on one rod and then a single hook bait flicked out on the other one. Let's see which one produces or if any produce at all. Here's tip number three, another very important one. Get to know what rigs to use on what spot. But we'll get round to that in just a minute. Quick shout out to the people that subscribed. Dan Pezzi, Steptoe, Nick Babington, John Ball, Grease Monkey. There's a whole host of others. I'm sorry if I haven't mentioned your name. I will get round to it at some point. There is a lot of you to go through, but big thumbs up to you guys. Really is appreciated that you're supporting the channel. I'm trying to set myself a bit of a goal before the end of June and you can help. Let's get the channel to 500 subs. Come on, we can do it. First big girl out the res, 24 pound eight ounce. Absolutely buzzing. Having a good walk around paid off, finding the car. Definitely 50% of your battle won. And this one's an absolute beaut. Stunning. I found the car and this one is my reward. Lovely. We'll show you the rig I caught it on. Brilliant though. What a clonker. Stunning. Full set of teeth as well. Big smile on the photo, Luke. The 
rig I've been using for the last couple of sessions. I can actually say that word now. Sessions. Session. 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 The Ronnie rig. I don't normally use a Ronnie rig, if I'm being honest, but because it's weedy and finding clear spots is hard, the Ronnie rig has been the way forward. I've either been using this rig or a German rig. One of my little go-tos at the moment, Fruit Palatins, Wafter from A2 Baits. Can't recommend these enough. Love them. Really nice smelling as well. Everybody seems to use this rig. I do understand why it is a very good rig. It's just not my favorite rig, but it's putting carp on the bank. So today, it's my favorite rig. How have I been putting these little beauties on? While I'm not using floss, I'm using bait screws. Just simply push the screw in, give it a twist, and screw down. Just like so. Now I find that is much easier than messing around with bait floss. Bait floss, oh, nightmare. This is easy. Get some bait screws. The Ronnie rig itself, attached to a fluorocarbon stiff link boom section at 25 pounds. And that boom section has been crimped. The crimps I'm using are 0 0.6. If you're not very confident at tying your own Ronnie rigs or you just don't want to buy all of the separate components, you can buy them pre-tied in packs from most companies. 